Hi there everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be talking about the beef, the YouTuber beef between Lions Ground and Secure Team 10 and what's been going on between them. So Secure Team 10 is a YouTuber who does like YouTube videos on the truth about UFOs and aliens and stuff like that and he's got over 2 million subscribers. I'm not sure what he did to piss this other guy Lions Ground off, but apparently he like tries to find videos of him and prove that it's fake. And like it's gotten to the point where apparently Secure Team 10 says that they've gotten like people sending them pizzas, uh, they've been doxxed and they've actually been swatted, but then like Lions Ground end up debunking his videos proving that it's all fake. This YouTube beef has escalated to the point that Lions Ground had figured out a way to get Secure Team's 10 Patreon account completely removed as well as getting most of his videos on YouTube uh, basically copyrighted and deleted and now basically having Secure Team's 10's channel at risk of being deleted and terminated. Guys, Tyler here with Secure Team. Uh, I'm posting this video because I need your guys' help and I need it quick. So Tyler's going to talk about what's happening with Lions Ground. That he will do uh, anything and everything he can to get my channel terminated, including filing false copyright claims to get my channel terminated. That is correct. He did get copyright claims and strikes, but it's not false. Apparently, there's actually a reason and a legit reason for it. Uh, this person has swatted me. This person has doxed me. But that's the thing, Lions Ground found out that Tyler was supposedly lying or faking the whole doxing and calling police at his hotel. And compare this with his new video. You see that the scenario is exactly the same. He has just mirrored his video. And then Lions Ground even called the hotel that he was staying at. We had read about a claim of uh, flooding and everything and I just was just wanting to verify if that happened or not. That's the only reason I was asking. All right, so nothing like that's happened or anything that you know of? Or have y'all been told not to speak about it or? Not to my knowledge. Okay, well, thank you very much and have a good day. So the hotel even admitted that they haven't heard of any cops or any about doxing or swatting or any incidents at all. No police report online. Nothing in the local media. Nada. Security intent pizza swatting claim proven to be false. Okay, but that doesn't explain how Lions Ground can get his patron removed as well as YouTube videos and stuff like that. So uh, let's explain that right now. I am in co contact with the designer in, from China and I have guided him on how to send a DMCA notice to Patreon. Damn, that's sneaky and smart. But uh, yeah, he actually found out that the logo that Secure Team is using is actually uh, like pretty much copyright or copywritten from another artist. So he contacted that artist and was guiding him through the steps on how to actually uh, contact and copyright his art. And that's where he actually had his Patreon removed. Just changing the profile photo of my Patreon page. <clears throat> Nope. Unfortunately, that is not going to work, Tyler. No. So as a result, the closure of his Patreon page. So Secure Team 10 thought just because he changed his profile photo it would work, but nope, that's wrong. He has that logo everywhere and that's an issue. Until he has removed everything with that alien artwork. And I believe that's the same with the YouTube videos that are being removed. Secure Team 10 saying that it's because of false copyright strikes, but I honestly believe because of the artwork, that's why he's getting his videos all copyright striked, and now he's like completely like, oh no. One more falsely, they will terminate my channel. It could be months before I get it back. So head to Twitter, YouTube know that Secure Team is being attacked with false copyright claims and to please look into the issue. And that's the thing is when you click copyright claim, it says who's doing the copyright claim and what for, and you can contact them. And I'm actually curious on why Secure Team 10 didn't show that. And I actually want to see that to find out if it is indeed uh, Lions Ground doing it, or if it's actually the person's art that has the artwork that he co copied their logo. And it's the exact same logo. It's just that he changed the background. That's all it is. And that's that you can't do that. So I'm really curious to find out the truth. Did Lions Ground actually falsely report these videos? Or was it the artwork guy that actually ended up claiming it? I wish Secure 10 would have actually shown the copyright claim because when I got a copyright strike, I got one on my channel and it's actually from Hirsch Television. And it even shows you right there, content removed by Hirsch Television Inc. It tells you what video and it actually explains why and everything when you get an email as well. So uh, the only way we would know is if Secure Team 10 ended up sharing that with us. But I don't know, that's the only reason why I could think it. I don't think 
YouTube would just automatically remove videos for false reports and that's why you can counterclaim it and they can manually review it and yeah that's just that's just mind blowing um, like I said I don't know the whole history between Lions Ground and Secure Team 10 but obviously I've watched a couple videos of Lions Ground uh, there's none of Secure Team 10's because he actually privated most of his videos except for one so I just kind of watched Lions Ground and found out that uh, pretty much that he was trying to debunk Secure Team 10's videos showing and exposing that he kind of fakes things for publicity like the doxing and swatting claims and the pizza calls and from what I can see that's, that's legit he, he, he called him out on that and Secure Team 10's upset and he, he obviously did something to piss Lion Grounds off because uh, he's he clearly made it his motive to, uh, you know, shut him down, and he, he figured out a way, you know. Uh, like I said, YouTube's not just going to take false reports. Um, and, you know, if you just start false reporting people's videos, they're actually going to delete and terminate your channel. But if somebody's actually copywriting and you're reporting that, then they're going to take that seriously, and that's what they obviously did with Secure Team 10. And uh, yeah, that's, that's just that's just crazy. Hopefully he can resolve it and figure it out. But uh, it seems like with everything with that logo, he's pretty much done for. Um, all the money that he's made, everything, uh, the artist, I've... I've pretty much going to assume that he's going to probably pursue him and take him to court and it's probably the end for secure team 10 for now so note to self and everybody else let this be an educational value don't piss people off don't make enemies with certain people because you have no idea what they're capable of clearly lion's ground is the type of person that he's very smart he has a lot of knowledge and he's willing to use that knowledge to uh, screw people over or you know get his justice in his mind and that's he's in, he's entitled to that saying it was morally right or correct but it's just how some people are and that's just the way the world works and life isn't fair clearly and also another educational value and lesson is don't steal other people's artwork and don't copy other people's art or try to change it or alter it because if it's very similar you can end up being sued or you know pursued like this and lose pretty much everything that you've uh, worked for he has over two million subs i couldn't even imagine losing a channel with that like that's just that's just so harsh you work your whole life for that and then it just goes away so make sure to create original art original logos everything don't bother stealing from people because you never know you're you're basically running a risk so that's pretty much what I gathered from this YouTube beef between them. Like I said, I can't really get the whole story because Secure Team 10's channel is pretty much completely like removed. I just kind of got my knowledge and information from uh, uh, Lions Ground, and uh, that's pretty much what I gathered. So I'm just going to leave it at that, and uh, yeah, lesson learned. Like everybody says, knowledge is power, and it totally is. So that's pretty crazy and intense. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below, uh, what you think about this whole situation, as well as uh, if you know any of the history prior. And please like this video, share it with your friends and family, and click that subscribe button for more. I'll do some more YouTube beefs if you guys want me to. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay safe, and God bless you all.